Rules Related to Alcohol Laws and Mast. Welcome to Module 6. In this module, we are going to learn about the general responsibilities that is applicable to all liquor licensees and employees working in on-premise establishments, including types of liquor license and alcohol sold, illegal activity and prohibited conduct by employees and patrons, hours of alcohol sales, required signs and lighting requirements, specific prohibitions regarding alcohol promotion and advertising, Good Samaritan Law for minors, and some other regulations that you should know. Liquor licensees are responsible for the operation of their businesses in compliance with the liquor laws and rules. Any violations committed or permitted by employees will be treated by the Washington State Liquor Cannabis Board as violations committed or permitted by the licensee. You can find more information regarding licensees' general responsibilities by clicking on the link below the video player. Types of License you can only possess and allow your customers to consume the type of alcohol permitted by the type of liquor license you hold. For example, if the restaurant is licensed to sell beer and wine, they can't sell or allow customers to consume spirituous liquor. However, there are a couple of exceptions to this regulation. Under authority of a banquet permit, liquor other than the type of liquor permitted by the license type may be brought in and consumed. Restaurant licensees may allow patrons to bring wine into the premises for consumption and with a meal. Beer and or wine restaurant or tavern licenses may keep spiritus liquor on the premises for cooking purposes. Generally, liquor in an open container may not leave the licensed premises except liquor brought on under a banquet permit. Wine that is sold with a meal may be recorked or resealed and removed from the premises. If your customer does not finish their bottle of wine, they may take it home with them, only if it was purchased with a meal in a restaurant. Make sure to recork or reseal the wine. Mark the wine level on the bottle, leaving the restaurant, date and initial it. Put it in a bag, staple it with a receipt showing the purchase of a meal, and ask that it is placed in the trunk of their car. If they do not have a trunk, ask them to place it to where it cannot be reached from the driver's seat. Registered guests at a hotel and motel room may take the unfinished portion of alcohol they've purchased. It must be in its original container and resealed. Licensee with a caterer's endorsement may take the alcohol to the approved catering location.